Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sydney. Uh, if you are new here, I am a Poshmark seller. I've been selling on the app since 2014 and I was a closet consultant at Poshfest last year in Dallas. Um, today we're going to talk about something that I've been getting a ton of questions about and that is sharing. I get questions every day asking me when you should share, when are the best times to share, what you should be sharing, how many you should be sharing, just all kinds of questions. So today I want to talk to you guys about the best times that you should be sharing and kind of some strategies that you should do to help you start making those daily sales and to kind of get yourself into the routine of sharing. Before I do that, um, I've been getting a ton of emails and messages. Back in December, I did a round of mystery boxes. I released a round of mystery boxes and it went really, really well. And I've been getting a ton of requests to do more. So I have released another round of mystery boxes. I will put the link down below for you. Uh, these are not like leftovers. These are not junk. This is stuff that you can actually sell that you can actually make money on, which was really my goal for the mystery boxes all along. Like last time I spent a ton of time going through making sure each box had like equal value and that you you know could make profit on these boxes that was really really important to me just because i talk with so many people who do not have access to affordable inventory that they can actually make money on uh, so i have curated these boxes specifically for resellers and they are linked down in the description box below if you have any questions feel free to email me or leave them in the comments um, but all of the information is in the description box and it's linked for you down below so let's start by talking about sharing so the first thing that I want to talk about is when you should be sharing and you need to wake up every morning and share your closet like that needs to become second nature to you you need to share your closet first thing in the morning to kind of wake up your listings because they've been you know you haven't been sharing them all night they're sunk down to the bottom of the search results so you need to share your closet to get your listings refreshed and back up at the top of the search results and in people's news feeds this is very very important that you share your own listings because it's very important that you keep them near the top of the search results as often as you can because that is what is going to get your listings seen so it helps to put this to put them into people's news feeds but you also have to kind of worry about the people who are also searching for items that they're shopping for so whenever you share an item that pushes it to the top of the search results for people who are searching for items and then in terms of the news feed someone posted a response from poshmark the other day that was really interesting and poshmark actually sent an email to someone and said that whenever you share something it will only go to a user's feed once within 24 hours but that doesn't mean that when you're sharing your listings that they're not being seen in people's news feeds when you share a listing it does not go to every single person's news feed and it does not stay there or it's not chronological or anything your listings are seen by the algorithm and the algorithm kind of displaces your listings and shows them to people that they think want to see them based on what those people have interacted with what they've purchased what they've liked it will recommend your listings to other people who have interacted with similar listings so even though you're sharing and it's not going to go to the same person twice within 24 hours it's going to go to different people so you still want to share your listings as much as you can throughout the day to keep them in the news feed and to keep them at the top of the search results the second thing i want to talk about is you need to get to a point where you're sharing whenever you have free time you know maybe you have a lunch break or you have you know you're sitting in a waiting room somewhere or you're waiting for something or you're waiting for your kids to get off of school or to get off the school bus or wherever you're waiting wherever you're just 
aimlessly sitting there. You know, your first instinct is to pull up Facebook or to pull up Instagram. You need to make your first instinct to pull up Poshmark because that's what's gonna make you money. You know, pulling up Facebook and reading people's statuses and news and all of that, that's not making you any money. So if you make it second nature to pull up Poshmark instead of to scroll aimlessly through Facebook, that's actually gonna make you money. If you pull up Poshmark and start sharing your listings, maybe share 10 to 20 of other people's listings. If there's a party, go into the party and share from the party. Share to the party if you have anything that is applicable to that party. You know, just make it a habit to pull out the app throughout the day and to be active on the app. You want to be active on the app as much as possible because Poshmark rewards people who are active on the app. So try to make it second nature to pull out your phone and to get on Poshmark instead of getting on social media. The third thing I want to talk about is you need to be sharing during the final party of the evening. This is so, so important. You need to be sharing during this party because this is when the most people are active on the app. This is when they're most likely to share back. This is when you're most likely to get a host pick so that your listings can be seen by other people. If you get a host pick, the host picks aren't necessarily for sales, and I've said this before, but that gives exposure to your closet. It gets you followers, it gets you seen. And followers are gonna give you, it's gonna make people more confident in buying from you, the more followers you have. And I hate saying that, but it's true. So, you know, you wanna get those host picks just because it gives your closet more exposure. And you wanna be sharing other people's listings because that gives your closet more exposure as well when they come back and share yours. And I usually tell people to share at least 250 of other people's listings during the party just because that is the number that I share to when I start seeing results, when I start seeing people actually share back. So, Definitely participate during the last party of the evening. You need to be sharing as much as you can. Your own listings, other people's listings. You know, you just need to make this a habit. It's why I have my share group. It's why I encourage people to be consistent with it every day. It's really going to help you if you want to be full time. If you want to get these daily sales, you have to share every single day. You have to keep your account active. You also need to be listing every single day. But that's a whole different video. So I'm gonna end here. Definitely check out the mystery boxes down below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments for me and I will see you guys in the next video.